Welcome to the world of drag racing, where speed is king and adrenaline is the fuel that powers these machines. Drag racing is the fastest motorsport in the world, with cars reaching speeds of over 300 miles per hour within just a few seconds. However, it's not just about speed though. Drag racing is a test of skills, precision and strategy. Drivers must carefully time their start and shift gears at the right moment to get ahead of their opponents. When you're out there on the track, everything else fades away and it's just you and your machine pushing each other to go faster and faster. Of course, with great speed comes great risk. Safety is a top priority in drag racing, with strict regulations and safety measures in place to protect drivers and spectators. So buckle up and hold on tight, because this sport is not for the faint of heart. In the previous meet that was held in the month of January, we saw a fierce rivalry between Brian and Roland Crawford. Both drivers ran a personal pace that was less than one tenth of a second within each other. By the end of the meet, a $200,000 showdown was set to happen between both drivers. Nevertheless, Roland Crawford came out the victor. Fast forward to the month of April, Brian again challenged Roland Crawford, but as Murphy's Law state, anything that can happen, will happen. Would that be a good pass? Uh, people, the sister boy, they make two passes earlier, right? The first pass was what? 10 5. And the second one was 10 1. The sister, you have issues for the two passes. Right now, you have cut it very, very close. This are the always. <laughs> so. What do you say? Where do you feel like you want for? Where you want for run? Right now, I just want to touch a piece of nines and then try tomorrow to. For turn it up. Send it, yeah. All right, boss. Well, so you know where I watch you. All right. Issues yesterday with the car. Um, 
You lose second speed, and we have a cutout problem. Something's happening where it's cutting out. So we qualify 10-1 with all the problem them. So we're all running at the class there and see if we can do the damage in the class there. Uh, we put one sleeve block in the car, change sleeve block, uh, same head, same turbo, same everything. Just change the block. That's it. Uh, we decided to do that because before we was running a stock engine, and I just felt like we was at capacity with the stock engine. So I wanted a little more power. Okay. Um, what the original, what was yesterday like? Because I realized that yesterday you had a whole lot of issues back to back. What, what, what was yesterday? What, yeah, what was we, need for, we need to start coming race on Friday. Yesterday we have a whole bunch of issues. Um, I don't even know where to start. I was having fuel issues, so we fixed that. Um, we broke another TPS. So we're gonna convert to a B-series TPS on there or something like that, try to see if we can uh, do something with that. And then, you know, that's basically it. And then the long, long wait, the wait was crazy. Yeah. Um, what are the plan for today? Because as, as I say, you damaged second speed. So yeah, I'm gonna take, you qualify with a 10-1 same way. So yeah. what, what are the I'm plan? gonna run the 10 second class, see if I can hold the second gear in, see if I, if I do something and see if we can win that class. Because right now we're, we're qualified number one in the 10 second class. Yeah. All right, so I keep up with the show today, all right? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> this point, we would have thought it to be sheer luck that Brian was somehow still competing in the 10 second class. I'm only day and vibe vibe. Oh, this? Yeah. My good friend, right? My good friend, very close friend, Omar. Yeah. I won this from Omar with fever <laughs> and bowler just now. <laughs> ten oh, ten oh 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 four. Or ten oh four four. <laughs> ten grand. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So ten oh for ten grand. Yeah. <laughs> good race. Love that. Love that. Love that. <laughs> Monkey off from the back of the BMW thing. <laughs> Where are going now? We got no second gear. We got no second gear. So we're going one, three, four. Yes. And the car got 10 0, so machine, you know? I'm not ready to throw the towel in yet, so I so keep pushing, you know? It's funny how with second gear issue, we don't know if I share luck or what it is. But with that, with that, with that damaged gearbox, you reach a 10 second for us. 10 0. 10 0. So, you and Ziggy are going at it right yeah, now. Ziggy, what are the plan? Just, just, Ziggy, I'm a British, so we're not going to embarrass him, we just want to win. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Big up. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
qualify finals. Me boy, not. Third and fourth went out there with nothing to lose, but a lot to gain. In the end, Brian somehow won the 10 second class without the assistance of a second gear. The German vehicles were out in their numbers, especially the BMWs. Vijay Bowler from Bowler's Garage piloted three of these machines and set a new national record in his BMW G80, cementing his G80 as the fastest one on the island currently. Go on. Kind of want to be there. We can't get one. I'm going to try to look better. The 8-9 is right. Yeah. It's right. I'm going to be there. 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 I'm going to be there.
something like 10 2 so brother bowler right now I don't know how far you plan to carry that be my record that's still in the bowler but brother big up because I tell you say yo you are the great things to be my platform we we'll see all you them out for this week you machine <laughs> Chemical is a master mechanic that pilots the iconic R32 GTR. When it comes to racing against this beast, let's just say that a lot of people have become acquainted with these tail lights. And I can't have my target want me locked behind these bars or in a spot that I can conquer. But because we live in and I'm addicted to feeling like I'm invincible. Take the bag, then I triple it. The flow been on the pinnacle, vivid dreams of a miracle.
Ziggy, the chemical, the chemical, the chemical, the chemical. <laughs> Great man. Yeah, what would you go on for this meet from Friday? Well, Friday, Friday, Saturday was a good day. Today, the, the light just messed me up a lot because for the whole weekend I've been pulling 1.4 to 60 foot every day until today. I was pulling 1.6, 60 foot with some fuel issue where the car wasn't revving out so by a mile an hour wasn't high enough for a 9 second because a 1.4, 60 foot everybody know that that is a pass of a 9.7 to a 9.6 which by a mile an hour was 140, 139 but the car was breaking up so my mile an hour wasn't up there so come here today Sunday now say fix the fuel issue and thing and Go back out with Pluggy. Um, we went on the line. I was on my launch control, waiting for the line light to change. It was taking too long for me to damage my engine, so I let off. For, but because there was a problem, so when I let off the gas, now the light actually come up and couldn't do anything else again. The car bag right down because I, I, I never in any launch control or anything so I run a level 3 just moving up the line hopefully them give me some grudge match so I can run my 9 second pass because my aim come here in this weekend was to just run a 9.9 .9, not for any money or any trophy or anything because just for the sports and I drive a really special car it makes 634 horsepower. It actually fully stuck. I've never done a bag of thing to it. It pulled 1.4 as a 4,000 pound car with 542 foot pound of torque. So it is a car which is supposed to run like a 9.7. So you're saying, well, first of all, let me say, to be honest, you're one of many that are complaining about the lights. We actually have issues with the lights. Yeah. Yeah, and Kenty was there. I even said to him that my problem is obvious because he was there standing. And you as a racer, which you race abroad, if you have a car like this car and you want the light, and the light take more than five seconds, I can't be in my launch control for more than five seconds because my car is going to overheat and all of that. And he's not paying me enough to damage a 15,000 US dollar engine for, 10, for me if you pay 10,000 I come damage. It doesn't make no sense. So I come out of it and obviously him say the light and them control it now and but I mean I think in the real world it is like that and I protest it big and next run never give it to me. Him say I can make a grudge match so I just want to go by myself, run my nine seconds and go home with when I come here for. No money, no trophy, that is not it. Yeah. yeah. What kind of setup you saying at the car? You, you say it's stuck? Yeah, the, the, a car has a stock bottom in. It does not have any cams, it does have any spring, spring stock valve and it has a 62, 81 millimeter turbo. This turbo has a 81 millimeter back house. I have run the smallest back house because it's not a race car. You can take a hundred and fifty thousand dollar US car. I run up on them, something like this. I would run up on them R35. That is going to get cheaper in life. This is going to get dearer in future. So I'm not going to damage my car for, for this. So hopefully right. get an extra run. I may get my goal. Yeah. Not about it, but what kind of suspension are you running on, on the car? Currently, it's on a BC Kylover. It's not no jack setup, it's a street Kylover. But literally, it's a street car. Yeah, full street car. When the race finish, I put on but the tires on the car. The only thing it has, and it's on 90 octane fuel. Which one of them? It don't run on anything racing. When the race done, put on but the stock tire, I'm a drive go home. But cover it down, I don't drive it for them. Drive, I usually drive this car every single day to Montego Bay. This is the same engine. It don't give no trouble. None at all. Boy, Ziggy, I must definitely commend you on your story. I mean, if persons haven't watched the story when Nick Lou covered with you, I think many persons need to watch that story there. I must commend you on your level of professionalism, your level of skills, the caliber of cars that you build. Anything you touch, brother. 
a trouble in it. Trouble in One chemical man and a ziggy the chemical. <laughs> yeah, that's the and everybody if you know man. Well, this is a third it, connect. Man. Oh, that is it, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Someone just coming upon that ziggy. And, I mean, I haven't seen any R32 apart from Asafa, which was years ago. Yeah, and that one is parked in my shop right now. So the only R2, R32 GTR in Jamaica is under my control. We have this one. Actually, this one, as you can see. Yeah. Is that just the R32? This one. 12.052 his last run. Yeah, this this very different from mo most of this is aluminum. A regular R32 would come iron iron. So this different. But it's a, it's a fast fast car. This car made me feel like when the plane just left the ground. But it's a good it's a good day. God give God thanks see me over there and. We don't mash up with there, we can try again. So, we just hope say, we get the opportunity to do what we have to do today. Yeah. And we come here for one reason alone, for just for nine seconds. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I promise everybody, say, we have to do it. But. Yeah. And so, it's a good day. We don't blame the day. We don't blame Kenti them. But going forward, for Kenti them and thing, people spend time. Time is more important than money. You're not supposed to waste people's time. You spend money for commerce, but you spend time as well. So going forward, can see them have to just set up a thing a little bit better. We are friends, yes, and we can't do it for friends and this and that, but we have to make it better so everybody can. We, are, we all have to be comfortable. And everybody spend their money come here, so you have to try to make them comfortable. You can't comfortable with your pocket alone full. And you will always spend with 10000 and broke, including other things you have to buy for care. And you come here, so, and it's a light problem. And that is a problem when you have evidence that is a problem, you're supposed to carry the problem as an organizer. That is our business and this is a business. This is not just can't take it up and a, put on a show for everybody. If you're not making money, you're not going to do it. So obviously the first time you make a money, so you do it again. That is obvious. We're not pretty up none for nobody nothing at all because at the end of the day, if it was fronting, you would have given me back the chance which you have clearly seen that and evidence that the organization was the problem, the system was the problem, the driver wasn't the problem. So you can't make it look like, say, yeah, the driver the problem, him should have this, him should have that. No, I don't have to damage my car. For you give me $100,000 and a plastic trophy. We don't need that. We can build a glass case. Put the trophy inside of it. <laughs> this is a trophy. One million you pay me for it, can't cover it. None at all. So that wasn't it. I'm not ignorant, it can't be none, but I feel away as a human being for treated like that, or him cheat me. Going forward, him say, I give me some run, give thanks for that. Hope God bless him, see me and bless we all, and we go forward. And me I go achieve my goal today, nothing can stop it. The devil could have sent a million more things really? like that to him do a while ago. I me, me not run the whole weekend because I have a gas problem, I never have that before. Nobody can launch like me. I go out the mirror run, me, me not launch. That is not possible for Ziggy the Chemical. <laughs> so I'm going to go there again and the crowd love me and I go give them what they come here to see from me today. Right. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah man, lifestyle to the world, man. Yeah man. Real fucking Yeah man, respect. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thank you. Yeah man.
Mr. Sayab, today. Yeah. Um, what, what was it? Unfortunately, same issue as last time. Um, the passenger side axle broke mm -hmm. in the first round. Uh, we had changed the axle, did some modifications, make it stronger. From hoping that it would have worked, it did not work. You know. Um, but that's what happened. It's up to wheel and come again. The car, yeah. the car, the car, the car nice though. The car ran a 10 tree yesterday. Um, it went in the right direction as far as going. After we get going, the only track. Yeah, that's that. Everything, everything after that looking really, really good. Um, I was actually confident to win the class this year. I mean, this meet, you know, or, and even dip over in the nine. In all honesty, but nothing happened before its time. So, as I said, that we have come again. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, Apart from that, um, you had any issues? Yeah, you made any changes to the car from the last meet? No. Really? No. No, the the, 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 the power management strategy I had is I did is unchanged from what I put in. That should have gone down in the first round. That yeah. Week. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, yesterday when I did the 10 3, it was with a, a bad 60 foot. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That car usually pulls like 1 5. I put a 1 4 with it already. You get me? So, yeah. Yeah. So, great man. What's to say? The car just leave a while ago and yeah. things. So, you know, we are going to check in. Pie and what's to say? You have Roland in the right direction as well. Yeah, 901. 901. <laughs> we still have only for daylight, so maybe we'll be proud of today. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, All right, so you know, so we'll keep up with you. Yeah. Every meet that we'll get a chance, we need to talk to you one-on-one, -on -one because I don't think five to ten minutes is enough to really talk to you. I understand. Yeah, <laughs> so, puppy. That's the word. When you Big up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gordon Shock has been taking punches at an 8 second pass for quite a few meets now. He tends to run up to 400 shots of nitrous on this engine setup, but with the addition of a pro charger and the combination of nitrous oxide, Gordon Shock goals for this race weekend was to make an 8 second pass. So um, my name is Gordon Chuck. This is a 1985 Chevy Corvette. It has a 421 V8 small block. It's running right now, presently, because the the is the um the setup has changed over the years. Right now, it has a four charger and a little bit of nitrous. Also, um, it's the best. So we ran the best time personal best yesterday, 9-1. So, we're just looking to repeat that and, and looking to be consistent in the low nines. All right, the, the last meet you ran what nine five the last meet? I ran nine four. Nine four the last meet. Very impressive fast pass. What, how different is the setup in the car, or what changes have you made in the car from last meet? Totally different. Last meet there was no supercharger. It was just um, nitro. So it was just a nitrous a car? Of, yeah, man. But we ran a lot, a lot of nitrous. That how, how much nitrous were you running? That pass was a, I think it was a, a 250 or 300 shot. But the car has two stages. It was actually closer to 400 because the first shot was about 250, the second shot 100 and something. So it was closer to 400 shot the last time. With the supercharger, now we can't run as much, obviously. So we ran the supercharger making about 14 pounds of boost with a 75 shot so i mean we can go more but we have to watch traction and you know have a lot of factors that 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 that, that play a role so we are at 9 one now and with the setup that we have um one thing i must come in here and do i notice when you run the nine the 9.1 second pass right i think that's the second fastest pass 
for the entire event, right? Um, but notice the car ran very straight. How, how, how the car feel going on the track? All right, the car is, is it, it runs straight. I mean, you have minor corrections to do on the track, obviously, because, you know, but it's a bit unstable on the top end. So we trapped 153. So coming to the finish line, it's very, <laughs> because I guess um, tire pressure plays a role on air, aerodynamics and the air trying to fight the car. And okay, we saw something blow off the car, what was that? Right, well the, the back glass blew off, <laughs> the first pass yesterday, because air, air again, you know, when you're, when you're traveling at that speed, you have a lot of air trying to go all over the place, so the air got underneath the glass and took it out. What kind of suspension are you running on the car? It's a 4.9 inch. Okay. 4.9 inch axle. Okay. Um, what kind of engine management you're running? It's, uh, it's actually a street setup. It's like a old school carburetor, but it's a fuel injection. So it's a Fitech 1200 um, ECU carburetor. So everything is in the throttle body, the injectors, everything. So it's, a, it's not really a race ECU, race setup, but we're working with it. Okay, and what kind of transmission? It's a two speed power glider. Ah. I'm saying two speeds, fast and fast. <laughs> well, I mean, in the nine second class, really and truly, I think uh, Roland, yeah, Roland really I go war at it. You know? Roland, Roland and I have been on a journey, you know. Yes. We've been really on a journey throughout the years, throughout the past four or five years. Coming down and getting better and better because yes. he and I were in tens at Jam West. I remember he was number one qualifier, I was number two. So we've had this car from the very first time around. This car was 15s, you know. Whoa! So we're going from 15s, 14s, go right. Now. How many years? That, you know, we have the car. Um, we started in I think 2018, and as I said, we're running 15s, and we make changes and we improve. And as I was telling my brethren, we never stop along the way. So it's not like we stop at 14 and say, boy, we could win a trophy yeah. now and collect some money. 13, 12, we just breeze, come right down until now we, we, the car is a nice car. Honestly, I think you have eight tonight, do you know? I feel like you're going for the eight tonight. this way, nine, one, you'd think is not far from eight, but what, what people don't understand, 0.2 of a second. It's a lot. A whole leap of difference it's a lot. is a lot of, a lot of, um, you know, physics a lot of tuning a lot of, it's not just add more power true. or fast that's so, true i mean yeah you'd say nine one you might can get a eight nine you know pressure in it but it's not that easy and we'll see yes. that's how it goes yes. because to be honest with you i would prefer to lose as a eight second car than win as a nine that's what <laughs> my my yes. philosophy is you see man right, man would have run probably a high ten I want to run 11. I give the car, I put everything. I yes. give it everything, whatever I run, it run. Whether yes. I lose, whether I break out, whether I collect trophy or not, it don't really matter to me. It's yes. just I'm always trying to get the best out of the vehicle. Did you face any issues? Because um, you were here from Friday for test and tune. What was Friday like? Friday, what we did Friday now? I don't even remember. Um, we run, we run nine. Nine seven. We had some issues. We had some AFR. We we're running lean, G getting the tune right. Cause we reach some places and lean some places. We also have some issues with temperature. Cause we're not running an intercooler, so the air temperature going in is extremely what kind of high. They're running? running 85, okay. which helps. Okay. But you know, the air is very, very high, dangerously high. So that's another factor we have to. And what was Saturday like? Uh, Saturday was qualifying. Yeah. Realize it's like you, you got it right on Saturday. Yeah, man. Saturday we're on, I think, 9 6 first. And then we get it down to the 9 1. All right, so what's the plan? What's the plan for today? The plan for today is put the pedal to the, met to the, to the <laughs> metal and see where we are. You know, we might run. Hopefully, we, we, we repeat the 9 1 because I don't. 9 1 is hard to beat 9 1 in 9 second class. You know what I mean? But, if I see my bridging roll on beside me. Because <laughs> Roland, Roland's supposed to run it, you know. Yes. Based on the time, based on him 60 foot, based yes. on him 1 8. Yes. Is a 8 second. Definite running. Yeah, both runs. You run 5 8 to the 8. 
Yeah, five feet to the eight. Yeah, so yeah. definitely. I mean, it would be nice to buck up with roll on again. <laughs> That's what happened the last time. And roll on. You see why it's funny? Roll on ran nine two the last time I ran nine four. And you'd say, boy, point two of a second. The man way in front of me, you know. That's true. So, point two is a big, is a gap him gap me the last time. So, anyway, for the fun of it, that would be nice. That would be. And roll on of the faster car, but we'll see. Yes. So you know where I keep up with the truth today? Alright, alright. All right. All right. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me go. Check up with you yeah. very quickly, you know, because yeah. we say I oh, work at it and yeah, 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 eat out at the nine second. And I really, yeah, roll on as we tell us, yeah, go, go, you know. <laughs> so, um, how the car, how since, since you go back out this morning, right? Yeah. Um, the last two passes, how ready? You know, nine three with a little issue at a nitrous leak, and then now just did a nine one issues again. Name of the game, you know. Right? <laughs> yeah, I have a, the, the muffler actually burned through the body of the car. Whoa! And there was some smoke, so don't track out to bail out, disconnect the battery, yeah, and check it. Um, so I'm trying to do some like a temporary work to stop the heat from coming in the cabin. Okay. So we're good, man. All right, then. So we check in for you later, All right. All right. <laughs>
man. <laughs> what time you run on the last the last pass? Eight nine. Eight nine. <laughs> you did say you want the eight. Tell him say if we go go for it all. No matter what time. Yes. Yes. You feel like there is more in it. You feel like there is more in it. The record heading for the vehicle. Yes. But you're comfortable with the eight. Well, Blue Honda Civic. Once again, we're not going to attack everybody. Just more and more little, right? Yeah, we have, have more run. races. Yes. But we don't want you to leave just yet. And you know, also, we're going to set this. It's we're a three-day event. I was here yesterday. Yeah. So you feel like you're... What, well, what next? What is what next? Because your goal was it. You achieve it now. The car is running more than how you, you even wanted to. <laughs> you pass the goal right now. Different realm now. As I said, just Yes. God, Chuck. How was the weekend? Oh, yes, something tough. Great. As I said, I feel like a winning lose. I was here yesterday. Yes. <laughs> I break out so I get second place. But I hate the eight. So. Let me just Pass. The, the last meet you run what? Nine? The last meet was nine four. Nine, so when that Say shave off. Off. We didn't From just the the did nine one. And we should be good. Right. Eight nine. nine so. Boy. Great man. Big up. <laughs> Orvin Wayne Williams shattered the world record for the fastest pulsar with a time of 8.1 seconds. However, oftentimes it may take years of planning and research to arm yourself with the knowledge of executing a record-breaking pass in a single run. Back in 2014, Orvin Williams and his team went in pursuit of becoming the world's fastest pulsar. <laughs> car was closer to making a 7 second pass, Orville decided to make a few upgrades such as a billet bell housing, stronger final drive paired with some upgraded axles, a carbon drive shaft and a precision 86-85.
Fast forward to 2019, Orville had suffered an engine failure, which meant that it was now time to go even faster and improve on safety.
Orville Williams has decided to push the boundaries even further and remove all limitations by assembling a billet block for the next upcoming meet.